Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to this update for Wild Rift Patch 4.3. Now we're still a little bit of a way away from a Wild Rift Patch 4.3 until it hits onto the live servers, but it has gone live on the public beta environment over in China. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the public beta environment. Apparently you need an Android to be able to get access to it. And also you need to level up a little bit on a China account. So I set up a China account. I downloaded the Chinese client. So I'm going to be able to try and level up over there. And also I'm going to probably look at trying to get an Android so I can log on to the PBE and show you all these updates firsthand. But instead we have to rely on these amazing MVPs like Chose and also uh, Cancer Roll to be able to you know show you all these updates. So big shout out to them. Links for them are down in the description. Make sure you go and check them out. Uh, they're all Always first with all these new updates and everything they're always the first people to be on it straight away which is absolutely great obviously these are not leaks because these are already revealed on the public beta environment and these will definitely be coming to wild rift in patch 4.4 so huge shout out to them uh, but we've got a lot to go through in this video we got boot changes item changes reworks to Jana, and also soraka but before then i just want to quickly show you my google sheets that i've been working on you probably would have seen this before if you saw my previous video um i've updated it now um, uh, the update is now has all the numbers so you can see all the numbers for all the new runes as well so you know 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 seconds after engaging combat first try effects that last for three seconds all the new runes are there i have updated it so brutal's here because it's brutal instead of champion unfortunately champion's not going to be in it but it's interesting that it's on the database anyway all the changes to the runes all the numbers everything like that so these are all the new runes and all the you know specifics in terms of numbers all in one place for you which again i'll leave this down in the description as well for you but also i've got a second tab called champion builds which i'm starting to do some research and i'm starting to go through every single champion in the game and giving you all the best runes primary runes secondary runes keystones rolls everything like that for every single champion in the game obviously i'm only up to jacks and i've done like a few other ones because these were just um you know people wanted me to do it on the stream but yeah really really cool that i'm uh, i'm working on this uh, i'm quite happy with how this has all worked out and i'm glad so many people like it from youtube and also from reddit so i post it on reddit as well so i'm going to try and get this all done um before patch 4.3 goes live and also update my website at the same time to get that all up today but that's not what we're here for today i thought i just wanted to show you just in case you want to check it out like i said in the description if you want to uh, but first we're going to look at chose's video who uh, who focuses more on um whose video focuses more on the item changes and also the boots changes every single boot in the game or boots you know upgrade i guess you can call it not the enchantment but the boots upgrade like play to skill caps etc all of that has changed every single boot is changing and also we got some new ones so pretty excited to go through this uh, as i mentioned we also got new items as well which we'll be going through uh with this video so let's head straight into it again a huge shout out to these guys uh, like i said they're the real mvps are for these uh, new updates because they're always the first ones to get them right first one we have a new support item uh this is going to be a support item like spectral sickle and relic shield but this is going to act a little bit different to relic shield and spectral sickle now with relic shield and spectral sickle you have to actually do something to gain the stacks ancient coin you don't actually really need to do anything you just need to stand nearby defeated minions or monsters in the jungle um cost 500 gold 80 maximum health, 5 ability ace, not too bad. Obviously, you're going to charge every 30 seconds and still the same. But you can see here, when there are nib allies nearby, each time a minion is defeated nearby, consume one charge to gain 55 gold and restore a little bit of health. So all you have to do is stand nearby your adc they just lost hit like normal everything acts like normal and you gain stacks towards ancient coin it's as simple as that now this is going to be pretty good i i think for probably newer supports that don't really understand how relic shield or spectral sickle works but i still don't think in high levels of play it's going to be as good as spectral sickle and uh spectral um and uh, relic shield sorry because relic shield for lost hitting minions and executing minions you can get a lot more gold and also you get the pushing power at the same time same with spectral sickle you get a lot more damage and you can you know create a lot more pressure with spectral sickle whereas this is more like an afk sort of um sort of support item but we'll have to see how it works in terms of what support items are going to give you the most amount of gold obviously you do not participate in a mini Minions gold dis distribution but receive 50 percent of the gold individually and provide the full gold for defeating minions to a nearby ally 
gold obtained from monsters is reduced by 50 50 percent so you're not actually going to get that much if you you know walk around with a jungler and you if you get monsters you're only going to be reduced it's going to be reduced by 50 percent but still i the, the only problem with this as well is that you don't have a choice as to what um what minions you get the stacks on relic shield for example you can decide to last hit the cannon minion which actually gives you more gold with this you can't rely on anything like that you just you like you know your adc just last hits whether it's a melee a ranged or a cannon minion and you just gain stacks so like i said i think relic shield is still going to be better but still it's nice that a uh, different support item has been added into the game uh, you can see here, you know, you just get the stacks from, um, you know, nearby minions dying. And all you have to do is just stand nearby. That's all it is. Uh, this is the upgraded version. This is Talisman of Ascension, which is the uh, Ancient Coid upgrade. So 150 max, uh, 125, sorry, maximum health, 15 ability haste. You gain 100 gold every 60 seconds and gain one stack of soul essence up to a maximum of 10 stacks. So you're probably getting... Uh, you're probably getting support upgrades most of the time around five minutes um so every one minute you're also getting a stack of soul essence up to 10 stacks you're probably reaching maximum soul stacks around 15 minutes which is kind of late in my opinion each stack of soul essence provides 25 extra health two attack damage or four ability power adaptive okay so you can get 250 extra health 20 attack damage or 40 ability power which I think most of the time this will probably be used maybe on enchanters more uh, i would think which you're probably just going to get the ability power again you're probably going to get this fully upgraded at like you know about five to six minutes into the game just after dragon um so you're probably expecting to reach the maximum st stacks around 15 minutes so at 15 minutes you gain 40 ability power 250 health and you also gain like a thousand gold which I don't think the 100 gold every 60 seconds really adds up to everything. That's like 50 gold every 30 seconds, 25 gold every 15 seconds. Uh, that actually doesn't sound that bad when you when you when you think of it in that way. But it's just you only get it every 60 seconds, so it's still quite a long way between every minute and the game. Um, it could be quite interesting. Uh, it's definitely a different way of playing support. Where, like I said, you don't have to rely on auto attacking, you know, relic shields or anything like that. I could see this actually being really, really powerful in uh, pro play in the esports with supports that love to roam. Because all you have to do is just stand nearby uh, a, you know, a minion or a champion, and just the minion dies. You don't have to auto attack it or anything. The minion just dies, and you restore health. So I think it'd be quite interesting. Again, these master stacks you're probably getting at like a certain point during the game. You see here, there's a, the little interaction there, the little demonstration. Thanks to Chose appreciate the demonstration uh this don't get hyped about this this is an aram exclusive item if you want to read this you can i'm not that interested in um aram so i don't really care too much about this item if you want to pause the video read the item you can do also there's like a new aram game mode which they basically already spained in the um in the patch preview which is like kind of earth with everything else all right these this, these are the cool changes this is where the boots come in uh now boots of furrow has been removed so the boots that give you movement speed or the rage passive has been removed now every single boots in the game now to upgrade it into a tier two boot you have to buy boot speed which is 400 gold a tier one component which is 500 gold and also an extra around 600 gold i'm pretty sure this is this changes for other boots but it's around about, you know, 600 gold. This is pretty crazy now because boots now actually have stats and they actually mean something. Now, you're not always going to buy like rush boots now just to go for the boots upgrade to go for like the stasis enchant, protect enchant or anything like that. You're going to be buying certain boots depending on what champion you're playing. Now, Berserker Grease, for example, is a new boots, which is an attack speed boots from uh, PC League of Legends. So it costs 1,500 gold in total, 30 attack damage, which is not too high. This, I'm not too sure if this is plus 10 attack speed or plus 10%. If this is just plus 10 flat attack speed, I'm not really too sure how it works. I think if it's 10%, it would make more sense. But if it's just flat 10 attack speed, I'm pretty sure it's awful from the sound of things anyway and also you get the plus 45 boomer speed so you need boots of speed a long sword and then 600 gold pretty cool i think this is a cool this is a cool change to boots because like i said at the moment you kind of only buy defensive boots like even adcs you buy defensive boots supports you buy defensive boots 
mid laners defensive boots i think there's only the rare occasion where like in mages by the ionian boots that gives you ability haste gluttonous grease basically never gets used fur boots never get used so this is a really cool change to make uh, boots a little bit more appealing um to uh to players so new berserker grease gives you attack speed uh which is pretty cool this i'm pretty sure these are the most broken boots and maybe the most broken item in the entire game sorcerer boots 1400 gold 60 yes 60 ability power 200 percent mana regeneration and 45 movement speed but there's more you also get eight percent magic penetration now i actually wanted to quickly go on to the game to kind of compare this to um to kind of other items i guess you can say in a way because 60 ability power for boots upgrade plus 200 percent mana regeneration and eight percent magic pen honestly i think will be the most broken boots in the entire game and will actually make ap mages and even just ap assassins in, in general you know imagine this on like evelyn for example that can just movement speed around the map you know so much quicker so you compare this to something like uh i don't know like say there's like a tier two item like needlessly large rod <laughs> okay so needlessly needlessly large rod as a tier two item costs 1400 gold and gives you 60 ability power there is a problem with these boots if there is a tier 2 item that costs the same amount of gold as these boots and only gives 60 ability power but with these boots you get 200% mana pen 45 movement speed uh sorry 200% mana regen 45 movement speed and 8% magic pen there's a bit of a problem there's a little bit of a problem there i feel like even compared to like luden's echo luden's echo gives you 85 ability power for 3000 gold this is below half in terms of gold and you don't even get like that much less ability power you get like what 25 less ability power you don't get maximum health you get mana regen instead but like i said this gives you magic pen as well like i don't know what they're thinking with these boots i hope this gets changed before live because honestly i think these boots will completely break the, de the game i still think that most ap mages in the mid lane will still go for luna's echo first item Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to go for Sorcerer Boots, second item, because they are absolutely insane. Uh, these are completely new boots. These are called Boots of Burst. Uh, 1,500 gold, 30 attack damage, movement speed, and armor penetration. It's not like crazy 60 attack damage or no like crazy, I don't know, attack speed with this as well. Like you could play, compare these boots to like these boots, for example. 60 ability PR, 200% mana, uh, magic mana regen, and 8% magic pen. You compare these to these boots, 30 AD, half the AD, you don't get the mana regen, and also it's the same armor pen. I mean, either way, these boots are going to be insanely strong on AD assassins and AD assassins in general against such a huge buff this patch from first strike and also an item change, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But it's a huge, these are huge boots for them. Absolutely huge boots, you know, Karzix, Kane, any champions like that. It's a lot of attack damage, obviously your movement speed, and also you get even more armor pen at the same time, which is absolutely huge. Uh, I think these are great boots for them um, and we'll have to see how that works. Also, I'm curious whether this is a flat armor pen or if it's 8% armor pen. Because if it's 8% armor pen as well, this might scale you know, really decently into the mid and late game. It might not be good as like a first rush because percent armor pen is actually weaker than flat armor pen in the early game. That's why you go for items like Ghost Blade and Serpent's Fang first before Serrata's Grudge because the flat armor pen in the early game is actually better because a lot more champions have lower armor in the early game but the more armor the champion gets from leveling up and also from buying items the percent armor pen starts to get stronger there you go a little tip there for you as well uh it's so a really really cool really really cool now this is a new boots upgrade this is rejuvenation cup now uh, the boot the protect enchant has been removed from the game r.i.p lux you will be deeply missed however um, I still think Lux will be pretty good because this, or because of this rejuvenation cup. So it kind of just like change protect and chant in a way. Um, this is really interesting. So when providing a shield or healing to an ally, the effect is increased by 30%. Now, the cool thing about this boots enchant is this is a passive boots enchant. So you don't actually need to activate this boots enchant at all. You just buy this, buy this boots enchant for 500 gold and then your healing and um, shielding effect will be increased by 30%. This on top of revitalize, which is going to be a rune that most enchanted supports going to get. This is going to be really, really powerful for them. Like insanely powerful. You think of uh, Janna, Soraka, uh, Lulu, Lux, you know, all these champions that want to heal and shield. 
rejuvenation just giving you passive 30 percent extra healing absolutely insane and also there's a little disclaimer here now summoners can choose their desired enchantment in the shop after six minutes in the game so there's no, there's no more boots enchant rush anymore you can't rush rush stasis as your first item or rejuvenation rejuvenation cup as your first item you have to go it go for it after six minutes into the game this will this in my opinion will make it now so there's not a lot of people that are going to buy boots early on. They're just going to go for that first item power spike as quick as possible. And then maybe look for a boots enchant afterwards or a boots upgrade afterwards. Remember, these boots enchants are going to be super, super expensive now because all the boots are going up in price. All the boots are going up in price to like 1,500 gold. Plus your boots enchant on top of that, that's 2,000 gold. And that doesn't even go into account stasis. Stasis is now going to cost 2,500 gold in total because you've got your boots Plus, you need to buy, spend 1,000 gold on stasis. That's a lot of money. 2,500 gold. That's near enough a completed item. So I think that, you know, stasis enchant as a rush, it's not going to be as viable as what it was, you know, in previous patches. So that is uh, very, very cool. Um, I kind of like this as like a passive boost enchant, but I'm kind of worried because the enchanter supports are already strong. You know, champions like Yumi are going to be stronger, even though they're already strong. You know, Nami, Lulu, you know, champions like that. But pretty cool anyway. It's like a kind of interesting how there's like uh, passive boots and chance happening. I don't think there was anything else that I missed here. Uh, spectral sickle has been adjusted. Now the adjustment that's happened to spectral sickle is now this will restore health. This is pretty big because spectral sickle is not as strong as relic shield right now. Relic shield is by far the better uh, support item to go right now in solo queue and even in competitive play. Uh, for one, you get more gold. Two, it's a lot easier to stack. Three, you get the restoring of health. Uh, and four, you just get better stats in general. You know, the, the HP is just better than, you know, being able to get AD or AP later on. Spectral Sickle now being able to restore might change that ever so slightly. I can see this being really good on champions like Senna, for example. If you go Spectral Sickle with like Kraken Slayer, you proc Spectral Sickle with your auto attack and your first ability. You proc Kraken Slayer. You're restoring health with your first ability and also you're restoring health from Spectral Sickle. So I think that trading in the early game with Spectral Sickle can be very good. However, I do still think that Relic Shield or even Ancient Coin now will still be stronger than Spectral Sickle because I think it's just really hard to stack Spectral Sickle uh in wild rift because you know the lanes are not as long laning phase doesn't last as long as well so it's very hard to be able to stack up spectral sickle so i think something else needs to change with spectral sickle but like i said it's just a lot easier to stack ancient coin or relic shield instead um but you still earn 500 gold and everything as well um i'm not too sure how this has been adjusted this is probably just still the same thing uh you get oh this is probably the same thing right with like oh no this also has the soul essence oh that could be interesting gain 14 attack damage or 28 ability power adaptive every 60 seconds earn 100 gold oh so that ancient coin is actually not exclusive to ancient coin oh okay that's interesting so this item has the same passive as everything else. So this 100 gold every 60 seconds, plus the soul essence stacks now you get with support items, is the same with, what, every support item, I'm guessing? That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. But also, but obviously with this, you gain 48, 14 AD or 28 AP instead of the health. Wow, that's super interesting. Because now you reach up to 10 stacks, you can get like... It's like nearly 70 AP with this with this support item with Spectral Sickle or like 34 AD. That's kind of interesting. Very, very interesting. You know what I'm realizing as well? Is I'm pretty sure there's no middle of the ground. I'm pretty sure support items are going to be easier to upgrade now, it seems like. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm pretty sure I just saw it down here. Look at this. Removed mid-tier support items. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can. They removed mid-tier support items. So now all you need to do to upgrade your support items is obtain 500 gold. Actually, wait, this means... Hold on a second. This means that what I, the comment that I made earlier with, um, with the soul essence being able to stack up at like 15 minutes, that's now going to be a hell of a lot earlier. 
it's probably going to be like around 13 minutes because gaining 500 gold is going to be super super easy for supports especially during laning phase which means that the stacks happen a lot quicker and also means you gain 100 gold quicker as well every 60 seconds wow that's super interesting because you're then going to get a lot of ad and a lot of ability power wow that's really really interesting actually that is super super interesting okay that, that makes it pretty more and actually a lot more insane because that means you can get the extra ad and ability power from ancient coin and also the um black mist scythe a lot sooner like 13 minutes into the game which is very very early and like i said with uh black scythe you already get ad and ap already so i mean it could be pretty insane i'm not gonna lie it could be pretty insane i wonder what they've done to relic shield then uh, attack a minion, consume, uh, execute 65% health. Uh, you additionally gain 60 gold, restore health. Yep, this is all the, exactly the same. Yeah, this is all exactly the same. So I'm curious how this item works now. So you get 170 maximum health, 10 ability haste, and you still get the same. Okay, so everything is exactly the same. So the only thing that changes with support items is like the health still. You know, all this health stuff is still the same. So you, so you either go with 175 maximum health and 10 ability haste. Um, you can go for 125 maximum health and 15 ability haste, which to be honest, I don't know why you would go for that when you can just go relic shield, which relic shield is not even that hard to stack anyway. Okay, you get five more ability haste, but then you lose like so much maximum health. Or you go for the extra AD from Black Scythe. Mm, interesting very very interesting i do still think that relic shield is going to be the strongest especially now relic shield gives you ad and ap adaptive plus an extra 250 health i mean yeah relic shield is still going to be insanely stronger like you just build this on i don't know janna or pike or anyone you just get the adaptive ad or ap plus you get the bonus health and also you get 100 gold every right. are they just buffing supports even more is this enough i don't know i can't remember exactly how much gold you get at the moment for supports it just this just seems like they're buffing support items even more anyway i'm uh, moving on that'd be very interesting to test out especially with some of the uh supports um runes that are coming along all right dust blade dust blade is getting a pretty interesting change uh you can see that the night stalker passive all the stats are the same 55 ad 10 ability ace 15 armor pen but the night stalker passive if you read it clearly the first basic attack against the target it was 20 to 125 additional physical damage and reduce their movement speed by 99% for 0.25 seconds. You do not need to be unseen anymore to proc Dustblade. This is huge for AD assassins. Absolutely huge. You know, I think it still worked quite well on champions like Karzix and Kane and champions like that. But you never really felt the full effect of Dustblade because you had to be unseen to be able to proc it every single time. Now, every 10 seconds, all you have to do is basic attack a champion and you get to do the additional damage and also slow them. Like I said, this is going to be insanely broken on AD Assassins, but also might free up this item for maybe some other champions as well. You know, I'm potentially looking at like AD carries, for example, that might be able to benefit from like the first basic attack to a target. I just wonder if this a target means it's going to include minions or monsters or it's still only going to be just champions and we'll have to see when the actual you know english version comes out because these are just translated versions um yeah oh participating in killing enemy champions refreshes the cooldown okay this is gonna be this is gonna be absolutely busted i mean at the moment you know um ad assassins at the moment go ghost blade um um uh, Serpent's Fang, and then they just go into like um, Blade Rune King and Edge of Night. Dustblade is never really considered right now. But with, with this change, I think Dustblade is definitely going to start to be considered again. This is a pretty crazy change, to be honest with you. All right, back to the boots again. Uh, these are the adjusted Gluttonous Greaves. So this gives you attack damage, movement speed, and 7% Omni Vamp. I think for AD carries, these are probably the best boots that you're going to go for. Uh, I think these boots are pretty insane. I think 7% on, uh, on Omni Vamp is going to be pretty insane. And the reason why as well is that most AD carries, if you look here, uh, someone, for example, like uh, Caitlyn. Where's Caitlyn? 
Uh, I can't find Caitlyn. There's Caitlyn. So Caitlyn wants to go, for example, like Brutal, Coup de Gras, or, uh, or Coup de Gras, or Giant Slayer, and then go Legend of Alacrity or Tenacity. And the reason being is that Alacrity just gives you so much attack speed. 3% attack speed in the early game, and you can get an additional 20%. Whereas the Omni Vamp rune only gives you 1% Omni Vamp, and you gain up to additional 7% Omni Vamp. So I don't see a reason of taking Legend Bloodline over Alacrity. When you could just go for these gluttonous grease boots i think these gluttonous grease boots are pretty insane i think seven percent of the vamp is going to be really really good um for boots and i think it's going to be quite powerful also giving you attack damage at the same time i think it's going to be pretty good and then you could just get the attack speed anyway from the uh, other ones again i'll be curious to see what the attack speed actually is uh on the uh other boots whether it's plus 10 attack speed or plus 10 percent attack speed we'll have to see how that works all right, onto the defensive boots now. Plated steel caps. These defensive boots are going to be absolutely insane. Uh, maximum health, base health regen, armor, and movement speed. But you can see in our plated steel caps, the block passive has been changed. It now doesn't block uh, incoming auto attacks. It now just reduces incoming physical damage. Any incoming physical damage now gets reduced by plated steel caps. That it's it's pretty insane. I and you haven't even seen Mercury Tread yet, because that's even more insane. So reducing incoming physical damage, absolutely huge um for tanks and honestly could be pretty huge for like AD carries and everything in general if you're against AD assassins and block a lot because obviously you played still caps before, only blocked auto attacks, it didn't block abilities, but now this just reduces any incoming physical damage, which I think is absolutely huge. Uh, as you can see, that boots of crystal, uh, boots of speed, ruby crystal, and then 450 gold. These boots are pretty cheap as well at the same time. Mercury treads. This now doesn't have the, even though this is called tenacity, this now doesn't have the uh, reduced um, crowd control effect. You know, something like, uh, even though it's called tenacity. So I wonder if this, I wonder if these passives have actually not changed, but maybe the translation is wrong. Because this looks pretty insane. This looks even more insane. Reducing incoming magic damage by 15% sounds kind of busted, to be honest with you. But then the, the boots um, thing is called, or boots passive, still called tenacity. So I'm not too sure if there's a, a problem with the um, translation. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see when it goes on, obviously, to live server. Uh, but Mercury Treads, maximum health, base health regen magic resistance and movement speed again very very similar to the plate of steel cast but you get magic resist instead of um you get magic resist instead of the uh, other option which is going to be um armor um so yeah pretty interesting they're both built from ruby crystal they're both super cheap as well 1350 gold um so yeah we'll have to see how these passives for the uh plates of steel caps and also the uh mercury treads works i'm not too sure if it's a translation problem uh and then we have the change to ionian boots of lucidity these boots now give maximum health it gives base health regeneration you get 30 ability haste now on lucidity boost movement speed and you still have to reduce summoner spells i don't think these boots are going to be that great at all uh i don't think that i mean, 30 ability haste is quite a lot but i don't think these boots are going to be as powerful as other boots the only champions i could see these boots being powerful on is maybe uh enchanter supports i don't think mid laners are going to go for these boots now i think they're just going to go for the sorcerer boots because they're so much stronger you know who cares about ability haste where you can just one shot someone with 60 ability power anyway um i would like these boots to kind of maybe have gone for maybe more ability power and just focused more on just making these ap boots to have an alternative but they tried to make it more well-rounded to other champions that maybe want ability haste but i don't really like it personally i don't think these boots are going to be that great they're probably the strongest boots at the moment in the current meta but i don't think they're going to be as good uh, as it comes up uh now we've got some adjustments to some um boot enchantments uh, as it says here you can't buy the boost enchantments until after six minutes um the quicksilver now excludes knockups um so you can't i don't know if this is excluding or including knockups um i'm not really too sure how that works um we'll have to wait and see how that works um after quicksilver effect ends gain tenacity and slow resist for 1.5 seconds is this even a thing right now i'm not really too sure this is excluding knockouts by 0.5 percent i think this has changed i think quicksilver is now just reducing crowd control duration and it's now not a case of 
being able to stop any crowd control or be able to release yourself from any crowd control and again unless it's something to do with the um with the translation obviously we'll have to wait and find out uh protobel now deals damage look at this missiles uh that deal 70 magic damage champion monster is hit by more than one missile so quick missiles will only deal 10 percent damage insane i mean it's not really that insane to be honest with you i mean protobel only costs 500 gold which is actually pretty damn cheap um protobel before was was it 800 gold before so i think protobel can actually be pretty good on some champions like alistar lee sin potentially as well we'll have to wait and see um but yeah deals 70 magic damage hawk uh redemption if no allied champions are healed 50 percent of the re uh, cooldown is refunded this is basically just benefiting people that didn't know how to use redemption or just misses redemption i don't really like it personally but there you go there's a change to that this i think low-key is going to be a huge boots enchant next patch low-key i think lock it might actually be really really strong especially because it costs 500 gold as well which is like half the price of um, stasis i we'll have to see how the scaling works as well because obviously this is probably per level look at this provides a shield now to yourself and nearby allies that can absorb 60 to 360 damage lasting for 2.5 seconds now there's two changes to this one you now get it you're able to shield yourself two they reverted locket to now work with all types of damage instead of just magic damage so i think that locket enchant is actually going to be pretty good you know it could be pretty good for supports honestly it could also be pretty good for like some dual lane carries i can see locket enchant actually being maybe better than something like uh you know stasis for example like i said especially because of how expensive boots um you know stasis is now because of how much more money you have to spend on your boots enchant uh, on your boots upgrade sorry so i think this could be a low-key a very very interesting uh boots and charm uh, as you can see you know you can shield yourself and also shield you know other ally champions i think it could be absolutely insane this is a cool change uh magnetron is it called yeah magnetron is now changed where you can jump to a minion or a monster so now look what lee sin can do lee sin can dance <laughs> lee sin could dash to a minion and then be able to just jump away like uh, i mean you just be able to use the kick to be honest i don't think this is going to be that good i think this is i mean before it was a champion now it's a minion or monster which to be honest i don't think is going to be that good at all unless you can get like some crazy vision and i don't know just jump to minions or something and trying to escape but to be fair lee sin can use his second ability anywhere anyway so using this feels kind of pointless to be honest with you um maybe it's a cool unique you know boots upgrade that you can get uh but yeah i don't think it's going to be that great so that's chose this video out of the way big shout out to him like i said make sure you check him out in the description now we're going to take a look at some of the remakes uh this is uh cancer roll uh who again you know is on the pbe and checks out all this pbe stuff and translates and things like that and also finds out these cool videos uh because there is a video on the jana rework right now um, so we get to see some of the changes that happened to Janna. Obviously, they mentioned that Janna's getting the rework, but we don't actually know the exact changes. Uh, so Janna's passive, what was that? Janna's passive tree, um, passive skill is still the same. Okay, Janna's passive skill is still the same. It's still going to be the exact same thing. Uh, I might need to move my camera up ever so slightly so you can actually read uh, the... There you go. So you can actually read the stuff there. Um, so yeah, it's just basically extra movement speed. That's all it is. Uh, nothing too crazy with that her first skill has now changed so in the uh, patch preview we saw that janna can now use the skill twice so i think it's now just on a fixed um it looks like it's just on a fixed timer so when you activate janna's ability there's just a fixed timer and then it just uses it again like automatically you don't need to recast it kind of like the way lux's third ability has been changed but this is to do with just timer instead of like something being nearby but also it has two charges, which I think is kind of cool, I guess. Double the peeling for Janna, which is pretty nice. Um, pretty nice. The first skill will now automatically release here after you use this. You don't have, have to actually recast it. So we'll just gain two charges over time, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, you can see here that he does like a recap section, which just does it in slow motion, but we don't really need to know that one. Janna's second ability is also changed. Okay, you can now use it on yourself and allies to give movement speed. Okay, this could be pretty big. You can release three third skills. Oh, I guess it means second skills at the same time. 
you can release three second skills at the same time wait look at that so you're giving movement speed to an ally you're slowing an enemy champion and you also can use this to reveal vision or like see if someone's nearby look at this like the person doesn't even have vision in this bush and the the bird still goes into that bush so is that actually gonna be a thing because that actually might be kind of busted you just walk up to a um a um a bush i mean you might get caught i might get one shot but you could just use it to check bushes now that's kind of cool either to boost an ally or to slow opponents very very interesting wow so, wow you can actually spot a jungler wait look at this watch what janet does here look at this 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 bird here is spotting someone in this bush that's the jungler wow that's actually kind of broken and then you can peel back which is pretty pretty insane and the tornado goes off sooner that's pretty cool bit of a recap again that's actually pretty insane to be honest with you pretty insane and also her third skill has changed okay what you can now shield yourself ally and tower at the same time oh my god this kind of looks broken i'm not gonna lie to you this looks a little bit busted i mean again in my opinion this is going towards making champions easier you don't have to um aim your third ability a anymore and accidentally hit the wrong target or accidentally use the shield on the wrong ally which to be honest is the skill for Janna is deciding what person you want the shield to be on now you just use it and it's like the three closest it seems like like there wasn't even a, a aiming point was there when the skill was used yeah just used it and then that was it it's just the three closest allies including yourself i don't really know what to think about that i'm guessing that the shield value has been lowered because if the shield value is the same this could be broken in team fights like insanely broken in team fights that'd be pretty damn cool to be fair pretty damn cool i have to see how uh, how it works anyway this is the recap and then the ultimate has changed as well so yeah now you can move around in your ultimate look at this you can move around in your ultimate that's just insane like look at this you can just freely move around in your ultimate use tornadoes use everything else oh my god that is absolutely busted look at this look at the fight as well i wasn't even thinking it wasn't like it's not even going to show the fight again like look at this you could just use your ultimate peel away and then you can also just move at the same time shield yourself and nearby ally use your second ability to slow them and also tornado them at the same time I don't know. Janna, I think it's going to be one of the best supports next patch. I honestly think that these changes are going to be insanely strong on Janna. Uh, I think that's it for this. Yeah, this that's it for this one. Big shout out to Cancer Roll again. And then we're going to be moving into our next rework, uh, which is going to be Soraka. It's not Annie. Uh, I guess they don't really have details on Annie yet. Uh, but we're going to see the Soraka rework uh, that's coming in on patch four. But there are a lot of things. Like there is a lot, a lot of things um second skill change let's start with second skill soraka's second skill has a good change okay do i need to oh do i need to move this back down <laughs> like i need to move the camera back down there we go i'll move it back down to like here or something you'll still be able to see me but you can see that it will not consume hp anymore and only use mana wow wow that sounds busted so you could just heal as much as you like now with soraka and your hp doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you drop low on health. You can just keep using your second ability over and over again. Holy moly. This is going to make mana really, really important now on Soraka. Mana now is going to be super important. Maybe building something like tier or just more mana items are going to be really important now for Soraka because you're going to be using this a lot more often and you're going to be running out of mana very, very quickly. And you don't even lose HP. Like what? That's incredible first skill change okay first skill was also changed okay if you target if you hit a target using this skill it will reduce the cooldown of your first ability wait what oh no reduce the cooldown of your set wait a second no this is second ability they, they i think he made a mistake if you hit the target using this skill it will reduce the cooldown of the second ability what's the second ability's cooldown here you watch wait for it wait for the cooldown to come 
So you see, he uses his second ability first, which has a three second cooldown, then uses first ability. Boom, the second ability is back up. What? So you could just do W heal, use your first ability, land your first ability, boom, your heals back up again. Ah, oh, this is this is insane. Holy moly, these changes are insane. Now, okay, you're definitely gonna have to go um like uh um what's the word? what's the item? Archangel stuff. You're gonna be spamming this ability way too much. You're gonna run out of mana so so quickly with Soraka. You have to go Archangel stuff. You know what Soraka's gonna go turn into? Soraka's gonna kind of turn into a sonar in a way, where you go just like Archangel stuff, stuff for the flowing water. You just build as much mana as possible because you can just keep spam your abilities over and over and over again. You spam your heal over and over again. This is absolutely insane. Oh my god, look at this. Just it, it just comes back up. And you can use it twice in a matter of two seconds. I mean, obviously, this is not gonna be as powerful in the early game, but still pretty scary. Look at that. <laughs> the mana's already half. <laughs> look how much mana it uses, though. Like every single look, 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 look at the mana going down. It's absolutely insane. You're definitely gonna have to go some mana item for sure. Definitely gonna have to go some mana item. Pretty cool. Interesting. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Cool, that's the changes for Soraka. Uh, I don't think there's any other videos. I think all the videos are pretty much done. Obviously, we know about the um, uh, the rune changes. We know about all the items now as well. So it's a pretty cool things to cover in this patch. Like I said, the patch is not even out yet. The patch notes I normally get like a few days before, so I'll probably get it on the 17th which will be on the monday so i'll probably get the patch notes then so i can actually see the numbers for myself and i'm going to be recording a whole patch notes video but i thought i'd show you all these changes anyway and give you all my opinions so like i said you can get one step ahead of the game before the patch launches uh in a few weeks time so hopefully you enjoyed this little rundown of the videos and the changes as always make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and i'll see you in the next one take care peace